What is up, everyone? Murray and J08. New episode of Murray Chat. So, Jeff Keeley made an announcement today on Twitter. He's decided to skip E3 2020. Oh my god, that's it, done. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next episode. No. Um, yeah, it's the end of the world. Uh, don't watch E3 this year. E3 is done. Forget it. Because, you know, that's it. Done. It, Jeff Keighley says it's shit. Don't watch E3. I'm not going to be on it, he said. I'm the ruler of all. I'm the end-all, be-all. I'm Jeff Keighley. Big piece of horse shit. Who gives a fuck? Go back to bed. You're a fucking game journalist. You're a fucking... You're, you're a fucking video game fucking person that people think of. You're not going to be at E3? Okay, E3 is not what it used to be. Okay, E3 is not the end-all, be-all fucking gaming event. We understand that. It's been that way for a while now. I've been saying it. But you still fucking... To you, it's still E3, though. Okay? Microsoft's gonna be there. You know they're gonna be, you know, talking about this and that, showing reveals. Okay? Of course E3 is not the way it was back in the day. But who are you not to go there? And, and who gives a shit that you're not gonna be there? I saw people on his Twitter account saying, Oh, that's it. E3's done. I'm not watching it. Because of him? Because they're not going to have that segment, the Coliseum or whatever. I never watched that. I've been watching and covering E3 since the first E3. I've never watched any of his coverage. I can't, he's, I can't stand him, to be honest. Enough I got to look at him when I, when I look at the Game Awards. Um, and mostly I just read the results after. Very annoying host. But whatever, people are saying, oh, that's it, I'm not watching E3 this year. I comment on every one of them. If you go on his main thread, you'll see me on Twitter. I say to them, I think journalists are going to be covering it. There's other, there's people, that the show must go on. So, he says here, given what has been communicated about E3 so far, I just don't feel comfortable participating this year. The Game Awards creator and host of E3 Coliseum tells uh, THR, whatever, go back to bed. That day you should sleep during those those three, four, five days of E3. Go to sleep. You should you should sleep. You know. You know he figures. You know I made I made my mark. I'm famous now. I did my my. I'm you know I do the video game awards. I don't need to go and hustle and bust my ass anymore like I did in the beginning when I was hungry for it. I'm just going to sleep during those few days. Here's what he said on Twitter. For the past 25 years, I have attended every Electronic Entertainment Expo, E3, covering, hosting, and sharing E3, as always, been a highlight of my year. Not to mention a, defin a defining part of my career. I've debated what to say about E3 2020. It didn't even happen yet, buddy. Remember, E3 is about all surprises. You know what? I hope fucking E3 winds up being fucking so huge this year. Blows him out of the water. Get on Twitter and say, oh, I'm covering it. Come to my Twitter account and I'm going to be, you know, covering it. Please, please listen to me. I want to be part of the E3 phenomenon. I hope so. Hey, listen. Hope you tune into Murray and Jay Awake because I've been covering E3 since the beginning. All right. Um, I've debated. Okay, blah blah blah. I'll just say here, what I will support the developer while I won't. While I want to support the developers who will showcase their work, I also need to be open and honest with you, the fans, about precisely what to expect from me. Jack shit. I have made the difficult decision to decline to produce E3 Coliseum because I'm lazy. For the first time in 25 years, I will not be participating in E3. I look forward to supporting the industry in other ways. At any other event, watch this start to become a fucking thing with him. Oh, I'm not going to do uh, Gamescom. Oh, I'm not going to do PAX. Oh, I'm not going to do uh, PlayStation Experience. I'm just going to be a lazy bum. 
Support me on Patreon. <laughs> Whatever. I still don't understand why he's not doing E3. So, this should be an ongoing thing then. He should have just said, I'm not doing E3 at all ever again. Right? Because we know Sony's probably really not going to be back to E3. I mean, E3's probably is, is what it's going to be here on forward. So why, why come back at all, Jeff? Makes no sense. The show must. The show will go on, guys. Believe me, there'll be many other people covering it. You don't need this strunes. In Italian, we call him a strunes. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on the next episode of Merry Chat. Merry out.